For 50 hours, he remained a silent spectator over a brewing 2G scam that tonight threatens to be actually, and there's no exaggeration, potentially bigger than the first. Finally pushed to a corner, a very nervous Dayanidhi Maran issued a statement this evening denying bias or favour to any company during his tenure as Telecom Minister. His defence was rather weak, however. The opposition right from the BJP and the left, and interestingly even Ms. Jayalalita, tearing into the argument, the clamour for Dayanidhi Maran's resignation is growing louder and louder. And joining me on the news hour tonight, very, very eminent panel led by Ram Jetpalani, Harish Salve from London and KTS Tulsi. Uh, thank you very much, gentlemen. Now, my first question goes to you, Mr. Jetpalani. Now, my, it's interesting, Mr. Jetpalani. Yes. You, you, have, you have also defended Kani Modi in the past, but my question to you is about Maran. Legally or yes. ethically or in terms of propriety, is Mr. Dayani the Maran in the wrong? Look, <clears throat> from the press reports, there's obviously something which is wrong but I am one of those who believes in the principles of natural justice for which I plead in court I have not talked to Mr. Maran I don't know what Mr. Maran's defense is I have not read any defense from Mr. Maran in the press so I am not finally condemning anybody but all that I can say is that prima facie there is some evidence of wrongdoing which does require investigation. What is that thing which appears to be that evidence of wrongdoing, Mr. Jetpalan? Well, the, the, <laughs> the wrongdoing is what, what is being alleged that there has been favoritism in the, in the grant of the spectrum and those who have sort of who have decided to defend Mr. Maran and have taken instructions from him are in a better position uh, to be able to comment upon the merits of that claim. But prima facie, I will not say that from the press disclosures, it is not a case for investigation. No, one sec. I, I know you don't want to speak on Kanimori, but may I ask you one question relating the two? Yes. Why don't you say the same thing about Kanimori? Because there too is Look, similar, similar. In fact, th this is an equity. This is an equity investment that no. has been made. Well, so that far, was a dubious loan so as Kani, that was given. So, so far as Kani Mori is concerned, she was not holding any executive powers of any kind in the company. She was a mere, mere shareholder. A shareholder who has no executive functions in the company cannot be hauled up for crimes committed by the company. And according to me, uh, the Criminal Procedure Code no, no, itself recognizes that so far as women are concerned, in the matters of bail, they are entitled to no, a not special, on the matter of bail. special protection. So, so not only on the matter of bail, you're an right. extremely eminent lawyer. My last question to you is on this. I'm coming back then before I go to Mr. Salve is, Mr. Jetpal, she was a shareholder. Now, Dhyanidhi Maran can turn around and say, I'm not even a shareholder. I'm not a shareholder in Sun TV. My brother is a shareholder. I don't own any fiduciary interest in this company. My brother has. So actually, in a way, maybe, just maybe, the case of Kanimori is even stronger than Mr. Maran's. There is no, no question that Kanimori is the one accused who was entitled to bail. But my grievance against the judiciary is that the bail jurisprudence is being wholly subverted. And this is the greatest danger to our democracy because these totalitarian tendencies must not develop in the judiciary. Okay. Now let me go across to London and to Harish Salve tonight. Mr. Salve, you've heard the case of uh, Dayani Dimaran. The whole country is talking about it. The only person who's silent is Mr. Dayani Dimaran himself. On See, the issue uh, of Arnab, propriety, do you is, think he has something to answer for? That I, I just want to tell you, let's put the matter in perspective. What Ram mentioned is really what worries me the most, the danger to Indian democracy. What is happening is the government is maintaining a studious silence. Dhanidhi Maran is maintaining a studious silence. 
the self-appointed Lokpals are picking up bits and bobs of uh, material from here and there and the media is picking them up. I don't blame the media. They must pick up a story where they find one. And the whole story of Indian Telecom is not coming to the fore. You are getting it in bursts. The first part of the story which the media rightly picked up was the CAG expose on the 2G scam. Now the second part of the story was what happened between 2003 and 2007. We picked up Raja and his allocation of licenses in January uh, 28. What about what happened before that? The problems in telecom didn't start when Raja took over. There has been a continuity in the problems. Does it have something to do with the fact that DMK has had one or the other minister in this ministry? And the TRAI said in 2007, don't auction the uh, 2G licenses because of an artificial scarcity created by handing sir, out am, tons of spectrum to sir, private players. Now, sir, this whole story deals... No. All this is in Dayanidhi's no, time. No, what is your position on my Dayanidhi, Maran? Because, you know, I disagree with That's you. That's what I'm saying. He respect. owes an explanation. You are criticizing the media and you are, you are I think, no, hitting I, out I the media calling it self-appointed Lokpals. But, Mr. Salve, the Shivraj Party... Media is not the self-appointed Lokpal. The Shivraj I'm Pati sorry, media is not the self... Then who is Look the self at the CAG Lokpal? report. The CA, there are others. The CAG report mentions from 2003 to 2007, correct? There are two major items of loss which the CAG brings out. I'm not blaming the media. You picked up one. You've now picked up the other. It is the government which should have come with a whole clean white paper saying this is what happened in India Telecom so why are you avoiding between my 2003 specific question, and 2007. Sir? Why are you avoiding my, my question? I'm answering your specific. question. And I know, yeah. Mr. Salve, that if you want to, you can answer specifically. My question is very specific. My ex Arnab, my answer to you is the government owes an explanation, Dayanidhi owes an explanation. And they owe an explanation of what happened in 2003, 4, 5, 6, about deals, about free spectrum and all that. There is a lot more than what is coming out. It is there in the CAG report. And the problem which the government is facing is of its own creation because they are firefighting. They, are, they dealt with one problem when you guys blew up the 2G. Now they are dealing with a second problem. KTS and Diana the feels best is to keep quiet. KT, KTS and Tulsi. And then what happens? Then the so I'm KT, sorry. I just want to get a view from KTS Tulsi because I. No, I, I just let yes, me finish okay, on this. Then what happens is when then the courts order investigation, then we see criminal jurisprudence going haywire and bails being denied. I think. You are doing the right thing. Pursue this matter. And I think Mr. Dayanidhi Maran must tell the country what went wrong. Why so worried? The greatest worry is about bails, it appears nowadays, rather than the issue. Of because the greatest worry seems to be who's going to be cooling his heels in the air for 60 days. But the issue is bigger. Let which me is get wrong. KTS. Which are, two wrongs don't make a right, Arunab. Sure, sir. You, we, we are entitled to know what went wrong in telecom. Sure. That's the first step. Sure, but and I think that is what should be pursued. Sure, but when the when the CWG accused went to jail, there weren't so many people getting upset. But when the corporates and the 2G scam are going to jail, then a lot of people are getting no, no, worried. I'm, but I'm sorry, Kate. I am I'm sorry. CW, uh, the, the, there is worry about what Ram said and what about I as a lawyer feel about everybody sure. who in under Prevention of Corruption Act way Mr. beyond uh, filing of the charge sheet is being denied bail. But that's Mr. A Tulsi, problem. should should Danidhi Maran come out and respond? There's an obvious question of conflict of interest and impropriety here. No, no, no. I, f I think that one of the most precious rights of any suspect is the right of silence. And why should we put so much pressure on the person having to answer? The right of silence means that your refusal to speak is not tantamounting to an inference of guilt. Even the court cannot draw an inference of guilt from the mere silence of the accused because the accused is entitled to silence. And, and if, if we are going to say that, well, he is, he is liable to give an explanation, we are asking him to forfeit no, his because, most precious right. No, no, because here, Mr. No, no, Mr. Tulsi, with right. all respect, the Shivraj Patil report directly says that all kinds of vague reasons, vague considerations were put in terms of, you know, not the laid down or procedure not That's being right. followed by Mr. Dayanidhi Maran. Right. And then once the shareholding pattern changed, once the later when the company made an investment in his brother's company, everything seemed to become okay. So the charge is that, the charge is very clear. You're, you're using the system for private benefit. 
Now, can you say when no, there is such I, a serious charge that one side can say, I'm not going to respond to the people of India? No, no, not no. yet a suspect. You can't force a person to have to speak up when, the, when you are a prospective accused. My only question, Arnab, is that if a minister deals with the issue of grant of licenses expeditiously, then we say he is guilty. If someone doesn't deal with it for two years, then also we say he is guilty. Justice Shivraj Patil has only said that certain vague and irrelevant queries were made by the, no. by the DOT. No. Now, if vague and if, if there is a delay in the grant of licenses, you can't raise an inference of guilt no, no, from no. that. No, but Mr. I'm only saying yes. We must not start with the presumption of guilt against no, no, no. citizens. No, 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 no. See, the no, that's not the idea. But Mr. under the law, is that of innocence? No, but that's not, not the that issue. Of guilt. Arunab, that's not the only issue. Yes, Mr. Salve. Arunab, now you understand what I was saying. Let us not move this into criminal jurisprudence quite as yet. We are still in the realm of governance. Things have gone wrong. If your ministry is raising irrelevant question, it raises a doubt in the citizen's mind. Why are you keen to hurry up one case and ask silly questions in the other case? As a matter of governance as a public servant, you owe an explanation. The suspect, etc. is all in the criminal yeah. jurisprudence. Nobody has filed a case. We will, we will get there or we will not get there. We don't know. It, it could just be incompetence, it could be worse, and it could be a case of corruption. He's holding a so position. So every, every malgovernance is not a case of corruption. Of so let us first find out what went wrong. Yes, Mr. Tulsi. I want to say that so far as 2G is, case is concerned, telecom is the greatest success story of the country. So that's in post-independence India. That's no argument, sir. They, if, if, if we are going to say that everything, if you grant licenses, you are guilty. If you don't grant licenses, you are guilty. It's going to affect the success story of the nation. There, there is no question the policy was not to auction the spectrum Mr. Tulsi. And, and the licenses because the object is to spread the telephony. To spread the telephony, break the monopoly, but Mr. And Tulsi, it so happens that the poorest it, in the Mr. country, Mr. Tulsi, it so happens, will be able to get the tel no, no, but Mr. telephone Tulsi, services. It so happens. That's exactly what has happened. No, no, but it also so happens, it, it, and that's my question to Mr. Jetpalani. It all of this is okay. You delay the process, you speed up the process as you want. It's your ministry. You can do exactly what you want. But if it so happens that within a few weeks of your clearing the license in a great hurry, after delaying the license for a long time, somebody makes a 600 plus crore investment in your brother's company. And this happens to be the second such strain investment in a DMK linked company. Obviously, That's Mr. Jetpalani, people will ask questions, won't they? There or are people continuity. supposed to put on blinkers, Mr. Jetpalani, and say, you know. <clears throat> Look, I, I have never denied that this is a case which requires some investigation. But I say I don't wish to be unfair to Mr. Maran because I have not heard his side of the case. He may have answers. No, but again, you, you can give me a more detailed answer to that, Mr. Jetpalani. This whole strange coincidence that we are, we are observing, this coincidence does not... It is these strange coincidence. Yes. Well enough, you are right. As a man of common sense, you draw the conclusion from facts. these uh, sort of coincidences that this is a case which requires, therefore, to be probed into. I am not denying that this is a case fit for a probe, but that does not necessarily mean that Maran is guilty or that Maran should be presumed to be guilty or that he should be arrested and denied bail. Okay. That, that point is taken. And yes, no, Mr. Arunab, Sal Yes. I, yeah, I want to just say that is what I am saying. The, there is a continuum. Ministers change, but it has always been with the DMK. What happened between 2003, 2004, UPA 1, continuing on to UPA 2, telecom has remained with the DMK. I think a thorough probe into the working of the, the Shivraj Patil report brings out the handing over of tons of free telecom, including to some of the existing players, free, free spectrum. That needs to be looked into. 
the the CAG says 30,000 crores were lost. People like uh, the other players like Vodafone and Bharti etc. given free spectrum apart from the national players. That needs to be looked into. The air cell issue needs to be looked into. Yes. All this needs to be looked into. Absolutely. And I think some answers are called for because there is a continuity. That's so the point. This, some answers are called answer for and I want to end with a tweet later, a because, because I think I think the way our viewers are responding, I want to particularly read out, first of all, I want to thank all our viewers for responding so much. We've had three very eminent lawyers on the program and I'm sure they agree with me with one of the viewers who tweeted saying, Manan has a right not to speak only if he is not holding the trust of the people and the public office. Hence, he cannot remain silent. I think that's a valid point. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you for joining me on the news. It's a pleasure bringing the news to you, all sides of the story, however uncomfortable it may be for some. I'll see you again tomorrow. Till then, good night and goodbye.